Hi, Dr. Janet Hall here, clinical psychologist and sex therapist and the author of this book called Sex Life Solutions and 19 CDs in the Sensational Sex series. So I'd like to concentrate now on what program a fellow who has premature ejaculation needs to follow in order to overcome his problem. You see, mostly it's what's going on in, in your head that's causing that premature ejaculation, aside from the sensitivity factor, of course, which also has to be deconditioned. But the main thing you have to do is change your thoughts. Read a book, get knowledge, because knowledge is power. And once you get your facts cleared up and you've really assessed, well, what sort of premature ejaculation have I got? Do you really know your technical stuff? Then you need to start challenging your negative thoughts. Here's what typically happens in a guy's mind if he thinks he's going to come too so quick, quickly. He says to himself, I hope I don't come too soon. I'm worried about coming too quickly. I know I'll come too soon. Oh no, oh no, oh no. There, I just knew it. I'm hopeless as a lover. Now these are the negative thoughts that you have to put to the back of your mind. Better off take them to the, the thought dumping ground and come up with some new positive thoughts. Instead of thinking, I hope I don't come too soon, think, I'm going to enjoy sex and stay in the present moment and not worry about coming too soon. Instead of saying, if I come too soon, sex is over, say, I can still give my partner a good time and enjoy giving. And whatever happens, don't say I give up. Just say, just in case this is one of those times that I do come too quickly, I can still enjoy the pleasure of giving and receiving from my partner. So relax yourself with your thoughts. Also go back to masturbating and learn how to stop and start. So what happens is that you're enjoying yourself. When you feel yourself getting up to about a five, five and a half out of 10, stop, take some big deep breaths, calm yourself down with those positive thoughts and then start again. So you stop, start, stop, start so that you only get to five and a half, six out of ten at the most because seven is the point of inevitability where you're just going to go eight, nine, ten. So train yourself to stop at six. Then ask your partner to do that with her hand. First of all her dry hand and then a wet lubed up hand. And finally when you are relaxed and you know that you can stop, start, stop start with your partner's hand now it's time for her to get on top and for you to be in control so that there's no fast thrust there's no pushing 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 there is just slow languorous beautiful sensational sex thank you